Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Hello everybody, it's Paul Neeson with uh, Torah Life Ministries and here I am doing the Torah Porsche. I'm at a conference right here in Chicago and we're up to the Torah Porsche this week. We do the Torah Porsche every week which is the foundation of all scripture. The foundation of all scripture, remember that because we might be discussing a little about, about that. But we're reading Deuteronomy 11.26 to 16.17 and this is the 47th reading in this cycle of this uh, Torah Porsche readings or the Torah teachings, the first five books of the scriptures, which is the foundation of all scripture and what Yeshua Messiah had taught from himself. And it starts off right here uh, in Deuteronomy, in Deuteronomy 11.26 it says, See, I am setting before you a blessing and a curse. Now basically we have to understand the scriptures is a book of opposites. We have good versus evil, life versus death, and blesses versus curses. You cannot have both in your life at the same time. To our human vision, it might seem like that's what's happening sometimes, but no. You either have a blessing or a curse. And he sets them both before us. He says, I am setting before you blessing and a curse. Now here it is. The blessing, if you listen to my commands that I am giving you today, and the curse, if you don't, don't listen to the commands that is being given, but turn aside from the way I am ordering you today and follow other gods you have not known. So basically the blessings come with obedience and the curses come with disobedience. That's it. That's the bottom line. Now everybody, we're saved through the blood of Messiah, but we're blessed through being obedient. So can we be saved and have a terrible life of curses and diseases and, and hardships? Absolutely. That's for saying we're saved and, and we got the blood of Messiah, we accept Yeshua, but we're not following his word. But then we got to question this. Are we truly saved if our heart hasn't changed? Because if you've truly accepted Yeshua as Messiah, guess what? Your heart should change to want to do his ways and become a follower of his ways. So I don't believe somebody could actually be saved by the blood of Messiah, say and accept Messiah and truly mean it and not desire to follow his ways, not want to be obedient to his word. However, there is uh, the world today, there are people that are deceived, there are people that are misled. So there are some people that possibly are out there. Well, actually, let's look at the average Christian. The average Christian is out there and, and, and they're they're saved by the blood of Messiah, they've accepted Yeshua, but they're living a life of disobedience because they don't know, because they haven't been told, because they're not reading their own scriptures. But James 4.17 says, to know good and not to do it to him, it is sin. Now I'm telling you, it's not just about being saved and, and works is done because I'm, I got grace. No, it's about we have to be obedient to his word if we want to be blessed. And if we're truly saved, we should have every desire to do his work. So if you're listening to this right now, I'm sure of it that you, you're not under the category of, well, I was just deceived and I didn't know I had to do something. Now you need to know. And, and that's what it says, uh, blessings and curses. Which one do you want in your life, a blessing or a curse? And that's what the scriptures talk about here. It says here in Deuteronomy 11, 20, 11 31, for you are to cross the Jordan River and enter and take possession of the land that a creator has given you. Uh, you are to own it and live in it. So that's the children going through the, the promised land, going to the new promised land, and what they're to do. And the instructions they were given when they go in the land are the same instructions for all the people that crossed over the promised land from being a heathen or a pagan of this world to now believing a believer in Messiah. And as that those instructions are found in Deuteronomy 11.32. It says, you are to take care to follow all the laws and rulings that are set before you from Messiah all of the guidelines and instructions that he has given us we are to keep and that's what the instructions were for the children that went to the promised land and that is the instructions for all the people that were once heathens pagans non-believers who now accept Yeshua as messiah and then when it goes into the land it says and it's the same thing for today that's why uh, this torah portion is so special for me because it's not only uh, from the past, it's uh, exactly what we need to be doing today as well. In Deuteronomy 12, 2, it says, You must destroy all the places uh, where the nations that were there before you had built and not worship their other gods. It goes on to even say, If any one among you 
or in your community is teaching you the ways of the pagans or the heathen, you are to kill them because we have to keep the community whole. So it says you have to destroy all these ways and when it comes to our wonderful creator, you are to worship in a place where he tells you to worship. And uh, it says on and on over and over again in the scriptures, if you follow his guidelines and instructions, he will bless you abundantly. But if you don't, uh, you will be set with curses and curses and curses. So we look here, Deuteronomy 12:28. Obey and pay attention to everything I am ordering you to do, so all will go well with you, uh, with your descendants after you forever, as long as you do what a wonderful Creator says that is right. So we have to understand, you know, you know, it says in Deuteronomy 13, Deuteronomy 31 says it very clearly. It says, uh, everything I am commanding you, you are to take care to do. Do not add or subtract from it. So do not add or take away from it, but we have to underline that word do. Everything I am commanding you to take care to do. Everything. So we have to do everything he tells us to do. He tells us not to follow other uh, gods and other idols, and he tells us to destroy them, and he tells us to only worship in a place and the way he tells us to worship. And, and it, it goes on. And then we have Deuteronomy 14. In Deuteronomy 14, you know, we have all talking about the clean and the unclean animals and what we should be eating and what we should avoid eating and what is abomination and what we should never eat. And that's a very important chapter to me because I am a health chapter. I am a health teacher. And, you know, people always ask me what food or what meat is okay to eat and what's clean to eat and what's not clean to eat. Well, it says it in Deuteronomy 14. It covers it and it explains it. Uh, so uh, that's what it talks about. And then he gives the appointed feast days he talks about uh, in chapter 15 of Deuteronomy and 16 as well. But I could sum it up in 1616 16 of Deuteronomy. It talks about the three special times of the year when all men were uh, told to go up to, uh, to, to Israel. But now we're all called as believers to uh, celebrate the appointed times. And the three special appointed times each year, the three feasts, is the Feast of Passover, Shiva'ot, and the Feast of Sukkot. These are the appointed times. So most Christians today don't know that because they're not reading their scriptures. And it says throughout all your generations, these are the appointed times. So this is what we must be doing. Look everybody, it's very simple. You either obey or you disobey. And you're either blessed or you're either cursed. And that's what it comes down to. So uh, what situation do you want to be? And where do you want to stand? And this isn't just original covenant or Old Testament as some people say. This is the Bible. This is the foundation of all scripture and this is what we must hold on to. So uh, I do Torah portion readings or, or foundational readings of all scripture that Messiah taught uh, every week on the website. Just look under the categories under the videos and you can look under Torah readings and you can see that. Uh, that's the website here healthwatchman.com. If you have any comments or questions post them below the video and uh, please pass this video on to people you think that need to hear it and need to see it and and so they could stop using the excuse well i never heard that before i don't know that all right everybody this is paul neeson your health watchman if you have any questions post them below thank you have a great week have a great shabbat next shabbat until then shalom shalom Life ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth.